few weeks back, I had the chance to spend several days in New Orleans with lots of other crafters like myself. Stampin' Up! held their backstage convention there for leaders, and I was lucky enough to get to go for a few days. Now, demonstrator events are so much fun for lots of reasons. Uh, one, for one reason, it's like you walk into this room full of tons of people, and you're like automatically friends with pretty much everyone you meet, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but one of the things that's so fun about demonstrator events is swapping cards. I wanna share with you the cards I received in the card swap. So I have a little over 40 projects I'm gonna share with you and just let you see them. I'm gonna mention who made them and just give you lots and lots of ideas that you can create both for year round, any, any occasion, and also some holiday ones as well. Let's take a look at them. So as we go through these, I'm gonna mention the main products that were created with them, who made it, and if you want to be able to see photos of these and links to the products, I'm going to put some links in the video description below so you can take a look. But I want to apologize now to all of the demonstrators who I mispronounce your names. Uh, it is not my intention. I am doing the best I can. So please forgive me. Uh, this card right here, I absolutely love this card. Wendy Knowles made this card. She used the sweetest cherries bundle and because she made them in several colors and I chose this green one. Uh, I love that they look like green apple. So thought this was really fun. Wanted to share that with you. This next one is a cute fun fold. Evelyn Rosborough made this and this uses the design a daydream paper pack. Anytime you place an order over $150 or if you want to get together some orders from friends that total over $150, you can choose host items. That paper pack is a huge one and you, it, it, you only use a little bit of your host credit with it. It's a really nice set. This next one, this uses the Charming Sentiments stamp set and die bundle and the perfectly penciled designer paper, which is black and white. And let's see, Cheryl Noble created this and she colored in some of the paper here and added some Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that glistening, uh, but just a really pretty one. So thank you, Cheryl. The next one, this is, this paper, this is another host pack. This is the host paper pack in our holiday catalog. It is called Celebrate Everything. This tag, I love this set. The bundle is called Lovely and Lasting, and it has this punch that coordinates with it. This was created by Susan Legit, so thank you so much. Next, a really simple but really cute card made by Mary Ellen Stites with the a little cheesy stamp set. This is a really fun stamp set with some puns in it. There's a cheese one that I'm trying to remember what else comes in the set. Uh, but I love this wine glass and this is really fun. She did a special technique where there is some liquid in here and that is actually, actually looks like it's wine. Maybe it actually is wine. Should I, should I open it up and try it? Probably not. I probably shouldn't do that. This next one was made by Jane Hansen with the Sunny Splash stamp set. I remember when I talked to her, she had several to choose from. And I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love that. Can I have that one? Love this with the bathing suits. This next one, this was made with the Elephant Parade stamp set by Melva Peters. Isn't this sweet? Uh, I really like this. It's one of the deckled rectangles dies that she cut this out with. Just a sweet card. Next, this was created with the Amazing Silhouette stamp set. I forgot to look up the name of this butterfly die set, but beautiful butterfly die set uh, that I shared here not too long ago. And this is well, I should have looked this up. I forgot to check. Classic, classic uh, stamp set for greetings. I use this all the time, but I don't remember the name of it at the moment. But this was created by Brenda Mellor. Thanks so much, Brenda. Just a really pretty, clean and simple card. These next two were created with the Heron Habitat stamp set. This one was created by Diane Evans. Really beautiful. She applied a circle over here and applied some color with her blending brushes. 
and then stamp that hair in over top and added the die cut. And then this next one, this one was created by Cindy Fodor. Uh, really nice with the embossing in the background and several die cuts. Beautiful. I love these bright colors on this one. Very nice. These next two were created with the Season of Chic stamp set. This one was created by Jerry Grinstead. Uh, th this is a stamp set. I was just talking to somebody not too long ago about how amazing a stamp set this is because it covers all the seasons. Uh, and I love that the images are distressed. You can see on this leaf uh, the appearance. And I really like the technique with distressing this piece right here. So thank you so much, Jerry, for this one. Now here is one from Betsy Kreider made with the same stamp and die set and some of that texture chic designer paper but so this is a wintry one so really nice one here too this die in the background is really fun that texture die next we have one created this is with that design I, the design a daydream designer paper that i shared at the beginning one of those host packs uh but just Clean and simple, uh, all straight lines, but lots of layers here. This was created by Alyssa Mawson. Next, here is one. This is a stamp set I haven't seen used a ton, but it's a really cute one. It's called Sit, Stay, Relax. This stamp set is exclusive for hosts or anyone who orders $150 or more, and you can get this one free, uh, but really cute. Love all the layers and pieces and designer paper really cute one and this was created by tracy allen here is one that i searched i was trying to find where the stamp came from and it took me a little while to find it uh this palm was created with the paradise palms bundle this is the sun kiss stamp set and it's actually in our holiday catalog which is why i was having a hard time finding it but this is a really neat uh, card that is going to make me wish for warmer weather. And this was created by Melissa Perswell. Next one, this is a favorite embossing folder of mine. It's called Painted Posies. This is from the Charming Cinnamons Bundle. And this was created by Angela Meyer. Really beautiful. I don't know for sure, but she, I think she may have used pastels over top to apply the color over this embossing folder. Might have been blending brushes. I don't know for sure, but just a really beautiful card. Okay, these next few use the same paper pack. It's called Hues of Happiness, and I'll share a little bit about each card as they come through, but I have four here that, create, that use that same paper pack. This one uses the Happiness Abounds stamp set. Uh, the dies weren't actually used on this. It has a die set as well. But so the Happiness Abounds bundle was used on this one. This was created by Mary Ann Hayslip. Really pretty one. This one uses the same product, same paper, same, same stamp set. This one also uses the dies. And this was created by Trevis Bossler. Had fun speaking with Trevis for a while one evening. This next one, this uses the Charming Sentiments stamp set and that same paper pack, of course. This was created by Michael Deal. And this next one uses that same paper with a couple of die sets, the Beautiful Shapes and Artisan Editions die sets. Isn't this really neat, this texture die in the background? That's the Artisan Editions die set. This was created by Denise Moss. Here is one more before I launch into my holiday projects that I received. I think this was created by Susan Miller, but I don't know for sure. I lost the tag that came with it. Uh, but isn't this a really neat fold? thought this was fun with the angle fold across here and then the flap across the front. One more shout out before I move on to the rest will be all fall and holiday. Uh, this was created by Julie, if you are listening, if I say your name wrong, you have to forgive me. Julie DiMatteo or DiMatteo, uh, she's really awesome and creates really neat projects. 
and she made this cute little treat box with a little chapstick and some Hershey's nuggets inside. Thanks so much, Julie. I enjoyed talking to her for a while at Backstage. Now let's move into the holiday stuff and I'll share with you here, this was the card I made to swap. So I made about 40 of these. So that's why I have about 40 projects here for each one that I created. I could trade with somebody else and bring something new home. So I used the Hello Harvest bundle for this. And I'll tell you how I did this. I, I have to remember for a second. Okay, so first I die cut my pumpkins out. Then I used shimmery embossing paste and I used my palette knife to smooth that over the top of my white cardstock. Let that dry. And then after it was done, I stamped over the top with the, just the pumpkin stamp and some memento black ink. So did that. I used the leaf fall embossing folder here in the background. Love this paper pack. I don't have the name in front of me, uh, but I thought it was a really fun way to do a fall card with a different take on it with the black and white. Here's another card made with that same bundle. This one also uses the split card textures dies, which are really cool. This was created by Lisa Lemons. And Lisa, if you're watching, or if any of Lisa's followers are watching, you'll have to tell her. Uh, my husband looked at our two cards and said, oh, I think I like hers better. And I was like, thank you. Thank you, but you know what? I think I might agree. I love your card, Lisa. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. All right, next is, I have a few more fall cards here. This was created with a soft seedling stamp set. Really fun one in the baby wipe technique. If you haven't seen the baby wipe technique, look it up. It's on my channel and my website, uh, but really pretty with the leaves in the background and these cute little die cuts. This was created by Linda Heller. Two more fall cards, and then we have lots of Christmas to look at. This one was created with that leaf fall embossing folder that I mentioned I used on my card, as well as the Fond of Autumn stamp set. Uh, really nice with the bronze or copper embossing here with the greeting. This was created by Jeannie Nielsen. And this is the last of my fall cards. This was created by Karen Titus. Uh, I really like, it's just clean and simple with the ribbon, ribbon always adds so much. And this is a pre-cut leaf you can get in a set right now. It is, what is it called? Leaf label and amber gem combo pack. So it comes with these leaves pre-cut and these gems. So really pretty card. And I like the, the die cut piece there behind the leaf. Okay, okay, it's time to look at Christmas. And let's start with this one. This was created with a stamp set called Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. It's really fun because you can stamp the inner part of the letters with one color. And then there is a separate stamp that you can stamp the outline with a different color, as you can see. So there's several words in the set like this. Jingle is one of the words. Believe is one of the words. And there's another one. It's not coming to me at the moment, but like I said, the set is called Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. This was created by Mindy Fisher. This is fun. So you may notice, if you speak English, you may notice that you cannot read what's on here. And I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what this card says. Uh, I could guess, based on the English stamp set, that, th that this is the equivalent of. But... This was created with the Lights Aglow designer paper. I've been using this paper quite a bit. It's really pretty. The Bow Punch and the Frosted Flurry Bundle, which includes this angular die, which I think is really cool. This was created by, please forgive me, uh, Jacinthe, Ga I'm gonna say Gauthier. My, I'm guessing this is French. Uh, my French is, it, it needs a lot of brushing up because I've never learned any. So uh, next is, this one was created with the Santa Express designer paper in the lovely and lasting bundle that includes that tag stamp and the punch to punch out this tag. This is a really cute one. And this one did not have a name on it. So if you created this, send me a shout out, let me know. But it didn't have a name, so I don't know who to give credit to. 
Next, this one was created with the Celebrate Everything Designer paper. That's the host pack in the holiday catalog. And the fern embossing folder, can you see that in the background? It's That's not an embossing folder I would have thought to use for Christmas, but I really like how this turned out. This was created by Susan Miller. Next, this was created by Kesha Davis, and it was made using the, let's see, Spruced Up Outlines Bundle uh, created this tree. There are some really cute pieces in this stamp and die set. This tree is one of them. And then I re this, this is a really nice greeting. I had to search a little bit because I wasn't sure which stamp set this was out of, but this is out of the Snowman Magic stamp set. Oh, and we have this fun embossing folder in the background. And I don't have the name of that in front of me. I apologize. Okay, these next two, these are so much fun. I did not have this bundle in my collection when I went to backstage. When I came home, I decided I have to have that. This is called the Christmas Scotty Bundle, the stamp set and then the coordinating punch. This one was created by Alicia Graham. Just a really nice clean one. I like the white and the light blue with the dark colored dog. And then this one was created by Sophie Prestrel from France uh, with that gingham embossing folder in the background. So two really cute samples you can make with that bundle. Next, this was created with a joyful flurry bundle. And this little cutout right here was created with the Label Me Lovely Punch. Marsha Gray created this. This is beautiful. Uh, all the layers and die cuts and embossing folder. Thanks so much, Marsha. Here is another one. This was created by Davida Lefke. And this was with the Christmas Lights Bundle. Uh, really pretty with the embossing and this tree with the... Uh, stamp and the die cut. Very, very nice. Oh, oh, I found that might be one of my dimensional pieces. I find them all over the place. Here is a very detailed one. I absolutely love this. This was created with the Brightest Glow Bundle by Margot Hope. Uh, Margot, you spent a lot of time die cutting these pieces and it turned out absolutely st stunning. So thank you so much. I have two here created with the Aspen die set that creates this lovely tree scene. This one has some of the snowflake, snowflake specialty vellum in the background, which is becoming a new favorite paper of mine. This was created by Carrie Buckham. Here is another one. You can see a very different take on that same die. This one use it, co combines it with this deer from the Grassy Grove Bundle. And this was created by Pat Shepard. Two more and they're created with the same bundle. This is the Sweet Candy Canes Bundle. And this one was created by Kim Allen. This one by Cheryl Piotrowski. And uh, these are just really cute, fun, cheerful Christmas cards with that bright paper and the really cute candy cane. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all these fun card samples. I know sometimes it's just fun to like browse and see lots of ideas. So hope this gives you lots of ideas of projects you can create for holiday and for other occasions. I'm gonna link to where you can find the photos of these and the main products used down below. So take a look if you're interested. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.